it's not meant for kids. Like and subscribe. <laughs> He's so safe because it says it's because he says the F word. Oh. <laughs> because she says the F word. Like and subscribe. Thank you. some fuel it's uh oh a dollar 91.9 .9 a litre so it's gone down a bit i've stopped at bp for no fucking reason except i get points some people have you know preferences on shell or caltex or ampol or bp i don't care well i do care because i choose bp because i get points towards my Qantas points i always use <coughs> <coughs> The ultimate. I know there's a lot of debate whether you should use 95 or 98. I use 98. So I do want to show you. I can't wait to show you. No, I'll wait. I'll wait to show you what I've added. <laughs> oh my god, you're going to freak. It's staying on. So I'm still getting used to my camera. It's not quite as easy as my old Osmo action. I've got to hold the buttons a bit longer and there's a bit of some firmware update that's telling me. But I'm just going to turn this off now. One, two, three. Well, let me tell you, we're at the top of the mountain now, coming into Blackheath area. Fucking cold. Fucking cold. I don't know what happened to this summer day. It started off promising. Well, I've stopped to, um, I'm going to try my 360 down this mountain. 
<sighs> I haven't had much luck with this bloody thing, I must say, but we'll have a, give it a crack. Nice old shed there. Swear to God, trying to get all these fucking cameras working. All this traffic now. Right, we're going down. I think I've got it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to run 360 through the phone and uh, film that way. That might be it. Anyway, I've got them all going on. Get out of here. Right, let's see what we've got. noticed my petrol cap's gone. Fuck's sake. So I know it got loose sometimes. It's either fallen off or I forgot to put it back on when I refueled. But surely I would have noticed that after being on the bike. So I, I yeah, obviously I've got to get a new one. So I, th I think the right thing to do is I should try and stuff that thing so no shit gets in there while I'm riding around. The only thing I've found is a little rabbit's head. I knew these had come in handy for something. So um, I'm, I don't know if you can see what I'm going to do there. I'm just curling that up. It's got his bunny ears sticking out. But I haven't got a rag or anything. But I'll get one when I stop somewhere. <coughs> what a shit! Those friggin' covers I had cost me a fucking fortune as well. Anyway, it's time for a change. I'll find more shit to put on there and I'll get something better than what I had. I wish I could just fucking turn this camera off as easy as the one I had before. One.
not much happening in Glen Davis, but we knew that because it is a bit of a ghost town. So old thing, I need to WD-40 that, there's a car coming down here, I wonder if he's got enough room to get by. <laughs> got, I got the thumbs up. Oh, but do you want to see what I've added to the bike that I promised you? So, um, I think it's all pretty, oh well this is the cases back on. <laughs> got my hat in it. Nothing at the moment. So that was unlocked all the way through. Damn. Uh, nothing else. I mean, you've, you've all seen my furs and all my shit. It's just another bag there and carry stuff. Um, there, so there is my petrol cap now, which is the bunny's head. See? So now that's just going to plonk itself in there. I like it. Okay, you ready? Ba -ba -ba Boom. Look at that. That is a coyote's uh, head. There's its eyes, its ears, and I've just double-sided, just Velcroed that on. I think it looks fucking awesome. Goes with the whole vibe, don't you reckon? And that, yep, they're my business cards. They don't fly out. They're still there. <laughs> Do you have a... Sorry, no, thank you. Right. Anyway, I'll give you a little bit of an intro about Glen Davis. Glen Davis is an old shale mining town based 70 kilometres north of the Lithgow of Lithgow in the Capertee Valley. Glen Davis constituted the only attempt to commercially produce petrol from shale oil in Australia. Ooh. The town was established in December of 1939. It was named after George Francis Davis and Glen Davis was notable because it was the first time that there had been an attempt in New South Wales to create a completely new town based on town planning principles. Glen Davis from 1938 to 1952 the town was at the centre of oil shale mining and refining and the production of fuel. In this period the town's population rose to 2,500 but after the oil shale works was closed people and houses moved away. Today Glen Davis is almost a ghost town with only about 25 people still living here in a handful of houses scattered among the network of empty streets. A derelict picture theatre and shop, some house foundations also remain which we're just looking at here. There's not much going on but it is beautiful. Country, oh, old tin things in there. Yep, that hasn't been open for a while. Old bottles. Let's do a bit of window shopping. Cut out things there. over there, people living there, there's a house over there, that's it I think, <laughs> I don't think there's much else, I will go up there and make my way out. Are they medical tools were they, are they? I thought it looked a bit creepy, I think this is the main street, <laughs> you get through okay obviously, you a local guy? You live here? Do ya? Oh. So how long have you lived here for? Sorry? 51 years. You are born here then. Wow. What do you do around here? So you retired here? Is this the main part of the Too. Just oh, say, like Jason's a local at Glen Davis. Like <laughs> He's got crazy. a watch on the crash bar. Fucking evil. Yeah. Hey? How did you think it all up? Oh, I'm a bit of a designer, so I come oh, up with the go. idea Bloody and I paint things. Horse and... bodies too. Yeah, they're, they're legitimate turn of the century, early 1900s from New Mexico. They're genuine cowboy stirrups oh. that were sent over from uh, Larry Taylor in America. 
saw makes, the bike and said, I've got these stirrups, you just got to put them on. And he's right, they work perfectly. So, what's your name? Robbie. Robbie? Oh, yeah. John. Robbie. John? Robbie. Hang on. Gail. Gail? And you're from uh, the parent. Blacktown. Blacktown. <laughs> Fellow Westies. little town as well. Fox Tower's got a little bit of an erection. <laughs> yeah, that that way? Good that way? Nice food? Try, this one. Try that one? Yeah. Is good food good? Mm. Where have you guys ridden from? No, I was ridden from there too. Water flat. Oh they did the dirt roads, yeah. Good, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did dirt roads as well. I wasn't meaning to, but <laughs> my um. Caper tea. Is that how you say it? Yep. yep. Okay. Right. Something small. Something tiny. We have a small leaders menu. A what? Sorry. A small leaders menu. That's me. A small yeah, leaders. That's, I'm going to have that cheeseburger and fries for the small leader. Please. Can I do card or do you prefer cash? Like right. Fine. I'll do a card. Great. Oh, and I should get a drink, shouldn't I? Yep, you You know what? No, because I don't drink when I'm on the bike and I really fancy a wine. <laughs> and I'll just get have water, water for the, Yeah, I'll just get a water. Your place? Yeah, we, we run the place. Yeah. Um, it's pretty well based on tourism. Yeah. The, the main attraction for people. Um, would be either bird watching, bush walking, or then the full drive and the adventure bike ride. Oh, thank you. Kind of yeah. The widest range of birds in one location in the world. Is that right? So we get a lot of people come through doing bird watching tours and spend days and days and days out there hoping to see these. So the species. widest range of bird species or birds in, in the world in, in one the world place. in one place. Yeah. Well, that's a great claim to fame to have. So this burger for small eaters, there's 12 bucks. What a deal. It's even too much for me, but anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ring uh, the BP at Five Dock where I fueled up and see if someone's handed in. I have a feeling now that I heard a clunk and I'm thinking it might have just, I had it on the seat and, or the back and it's fallen off. That's all I can think of. That's my effort. I can't eat anymore. Okay, well, I'm going to go to the loo. I won't take the camera in for that. I'm sure you're not interested. But oh, first, let's hear a little bit about Caperty. So, Caperty is a village 135 kilometres northwest of Sydney. It is an elevated site above the Caperty Valley. The Caperty Valley. In 2016, the township had a population of 145 people. And Caperty National Park is within the traditional lands of the Wiradjuri people. The surrounding countryside contains evidence of Aboriginal occupation in the form of rock art, sacred trees and artefacts. Traditional food plants and old travel routes are also present within and the park. It was first traversed by European explorer James Blackman, who journeyed through the Mudgee area in 1821. Sheep properties were later established in the valley during the 1840s, producing quality wool. The Caperty Valley is a large canyon that is noted to be the second widest of any canyon in the world, exceeding the Grand Canyon. I've just had a delicious lunch at the pub. And there's Calamity. 
And that was the busiest this road's ever been since I fucking started recording. Go figure. Benny. Benny, Benny, who runs the Capity. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Capity Hotel. Capity Hotel. And we're talking about maybe the barbering biker doing a bit of a show here one Sunday. Is it the last Sunday of the month you do like markets and things? Fourth Sunday of every month. Fourth Sunday. Fourth Sunday of every month. Uh, there's markets with homemade goods and leathers and things like that. So I think it sounds like I need to be here. So we're going to work that out and then it's for a big party, I sounds reckon. Sounds like a great day. And, uh, and thanks so much. To, I had the small plate. What's for, what small, is it? Small, small leaders. It was fucking massive. <laughs> I couldn't finish it. You should try the big beef burgers nah, or the steak burger. I can't, I'm a little eater. I'm just a little bird. I'm so delicate, aren't I? <laughs> Not. Anyway, that's the Capiti Royal Hotel. The Ripper. Come here, Zayden, in front of this beautiful bike. Now, Zayden, I wish I was responsible for this mullet, but I'm... You're rocking it, mate. Can I have a spin around? Turn sideways. Give us the sideways. Look, Look at that. that. Look at that. This is, uh, this is a mullet to be proud of. And you've got such luscious hair as well. Yeah, Look, has the Dad got a mullet? Is that Dad? Yeah. Dad's got a mullet. Dad, come here, mate. Come, come here. Come here with Zayden. What's Dad's name? Oh, Gary. Co Gary, come, come here, Gary. Come on. You've got to. I'm, oh, I, I'm the mullet master. <laughs> so I'm, I have to do some mullets. When I come out to the Royal Hotel, get it off. Come on. Get out of here. <laughs> I've got duo. I've got mullets in stereo. Hang on a minute. <laughs> stereo mullets. <laughs> so Zayden has a YouTube channel. Yeah? Uh, it's called Zenny VR. Zenny VR. I do Oculus gameplay on Gorilla Tag and Pavlov. He's just speaking another language for me, but it's sort of like game stuff, is it? Yeah. And you wear a headpiece, do you? Yeah. And it looks, it feels like you're in the game. Oh my god, you've got to tell me about that, because I, I tested one of those at an exhibition and I loved it. And, yeah. I, and I annihilated all these blokes, I was killing zombies. I was the best. There you go, Zane. Number plate net? That's fabulous. Universal emergency fuel cap thingamajigamy. Bingo. <coughs> huh? It doesn't come off, it's loose as shit, but I'm gonna I already know how I'm gonna decorate that. It's gonna look better than it did. Put the bunny back in the box. Do you know Con Air? It's probably one of my favourite movies. I know, I can't believe it either. Put the bunny back in the box. Someone as, as, uh, as highbrow as me, I love Con Air. I can't resist watching it. I think I've watched it like four or five times. Whenever it's on TV, I just I fucking watch it. I don't know what that's about. I can't explain it. Con Air, put the bunny back in the box. I said, put the bunny back in the box. box. Okay, now it's home now. Why couldn't you put the bunny back in the box? That's the valleys down there. Look at it. Wow. Thanks to Roadworks, I can film that. I left my pet. 
petrol cap at the bloody fuel station. You've got more on this bike, haven't you, since I've seen it last? Yes. This right. is new. Huh? This is new. Oh, no, I've had that before, oh, but it's reasonably new. You may not have noticed it. No. What do you got this is new. Huh? What have you got covering your petrol cap now? I got one of those, you know, plastic ones that you get from the fuel station. Hello, beautiful girl. Are you passing the fuel station again? Yeah, I've rung them. They don't know. They can't even speak English. Yes, that's new. Yes, I knew. Hi, Yes, I've got a coyote head. Huh? It's a coyote. Well, I've come up with an idea for my lost <laughs> petrol cap already. There is that so much things to be here. You show me this, yeah. A compass. See, it's a got penny. the it's got the penny on the top, but the, you unwind it. That's a compass. And it's a, don't yeah. touch that silver stuff. You showed me that. Donna. Compass. Oh, that's cool. So when I'm in the outback, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so why and can't that be double-sided tape on that? Well, okay, girls. <laughs> We're signing off now. Say bye. 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 What, what have they got to do? You've got to subscribe. What? Subscribe. They've got to subscribe to the channel, don't they? I just said that. Beautiful. I don't think so, but. Look. Yeah, load her up. That's it. That's it. Here. Yeah, why not? Fabulous. Yeah. Look at that. Where I get some savvy water? Is that what gets? Oh, it's pretty good. And, uh, look at that. Fucking perfect, that. Is that good or what? Well, that's the end of this weekend. It's a beautiful day, Sunday. I'm heading back to Sydney now. I've had a wonderful night with the kids. So now I think I've got the Aussie and the Indian because I have the Indian headdress still on the other hub, the petrol cap. Things happen for a reason, right? And that was a good idea. So be brave, be crazy and take care because we all know it's a fucking jungle out there. And until the next time, which will be next weekend, I've got to do a barbering biker appearance with the men's shed at Bargo. And then from there I head to Gundagai and then Glen Rowan and then Melbourne. So happy days are here again. Yeah. Bye. The Aussie and ah, the Indian. Aussie and the Indian. Oh, wrong one. This Indian.